so today we're just going to do a cook with me um i've never done a video like this this is just going to be like vlog style today i'm going to be making ayamase and i'm also going to be making afang soup so i'm just going to take you guys through um it's five o'clock so my lighting might not be that great and i don't want to use a ring light to film because i don't want the heat okay um so i have everything set up here i'm going to show you guys in a minute but then i have three pots on my cooker and i have the three of them because i'm going to use one for the ayamase i'm going to use one for the afang soup and i'm going to use one to dry my pepper my blended pepper and tomato so i'm going to just show you guys what i have here so here i have my water leaf um washed and it's draining already and then i have my okazi leaves um which is what you use for your afang soup here i have my tomato my Tomatoes and pepper actually, but what I do now, um, even for my regular soups and for ayamase, I know that people cook ayamase in different ways, but this is how I cook mine. I don't use too much tomatoes, like in here I have just 100 naira worth of tomatoes, then I have about 400 naira worth of pepper and then onion. Here I have my pomo, I have a little bit of periwinkle, I'm not a periwinkle person, I really don't even taste them in the soup except they come with the shells and I don't make periwinkles with the shells because of the children so honestly this is almost a waste for me because I don't even get to taste them in the soup here I have my stock fish, I have smoked fish here and then here I have my beef, I'm going to put this beef on the fire, I'm not going to finish it I'm going to use some for the soup and then some for the ayamase and I'm still going to have some in it So I'm just going to pour my meat into this biggest pot here Just so that while I'm doing other things now, you know Meat can be, you know, softening up and all mm. It's a lot So while my meat is on the fire, I'm going to blend my tomatoes and pepper. So I'm going to be using my power blender. I'm always excited to use this. The only problem I have is I have to use it when there's light. So even right now that I'm talking to you guys, I'm not certain there will be light in a couple of seconds. So I need to be really, really fast. with my beef stock and I'm just going to dump everything soup is very easy to cook you just dump in and then stir so I just throw in my pomo, my fish, stock fish, smoked fish, the periwinkles I put some palm oil and then I'm going to let it boil and then for my say in an empty pot I'm just going to put my palm oil and then I'm going to let it bleach <laughs> everything has boiled i'm just going to go in with my okazi leaves now okazi leaves are they're a bit tough so it takes a while for them to cook and get soft 
um so usually what i do some people blend this but i don't blend mine i've never blended it before i like to try to blend just to see how it will look but then some people blend it. i think when you blend it it turns out softer so i don't blend mine i just pour in and then cook on low heat you know covered and then i don't even cook it till it's completely soft before i put in the next leaf which is the water leaf because the water leaf will also soften it and then once i'm done with that I just cover take it off the fire and then you know when you're ready to eat it will be definitely be softer than it was So once I was done with my oil, I let the oil cool down and then I went in with my onions. That's for my am saying. Now I'm going in with the water leaf. And usually when it's difficult to stir, I just cover it up. Once the heat cooks it a bit, I put some more in and then you know that's what I do till it's done. So for the am say I just put onions when the onions is fried i go in with the tomato and pepper blend and then put every other thing in um the smoked fish like more, more my crayfish seasoning cubes a little bit of aromat salt um what else did i mention iru just everything everything and then i leave it on fire to fry on low heat so once i'm that's just what i told you guys i do i put in my water leave leave it to heat up a bit it kind of goes down you know then i stir i just added some more palm oil because i realized that i didn't have enough palm oil so i'm just going to you know cover this up and it would go down if you don't want to stay it there's no problem just cover it a bit once it heats up a bit you know it will reduce so you can stay and stay properly <music> this is not the original way to make ayamase but this is how i make mine because um well this is just how i make mine um so if you make yours differently let me know in the comments i've actually come across a lot of recipes you know on ayamase but then i know that there is the original ayamase it doesn't even look red it's not red it's like a dark brown but then mine tastes very it has this very local palm oily taste that i really like and then it's a little bit uh, more watery than you know the original ayamase the original ayamase is very thick it's like a sauce um but then mine is a bit watery yeah so this is my version <music> So food is ready hope you guys enjoyed this very short video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and i will see you guys later this year or in 2020 bye